there was an interesting conversation, especially given that Street Fighter VI was just playable and the version we played had such high input delay. This is something that he's brought up a lot. And so I figured we should credit this to LK and he already has a tweet about it. But he says, I'm very hopeful that for future fighting games, fighting game devs will consider very low delay as a factor in frame data. That's probably the main reason I don't like playing the games on the PC at the moment. I can't speak for other games, but the speed of things for Arc System War games suggests that the games are made with del uh, delay in mind. So the characters who don't have truly instant selections get fucked hard when the delay is reduced a lot. LK is suggesting that these games are built with the natural like frame delay of a console version, you know, three, four, five, six, however many frames of input delay there are in mind. And when you're trying to tune the speed of a move, let's say you're like, okay, we want to make this overhead really fast, but maybe reactable. Let's make it 18, 19, 20, 21. Like, you know, you're trying to figure out the right number and like that number can fluctuate depending on if you're playing on a PC with one to two frames of delay or console with five or six frames of delay. BB Persona Strive are extremely different games depending on the context. A great example of this is everybody just got to play Street Fighter VI, right? Well, not everybody. Some people got to play Street Fighter VI. Everybody's talking about drive impact being really strong, a really important part about the game, etc. So they tested one of the console versions of the game. The Xbox version had like six frames of input delay or something like that. And drive impact is a 26 frame move. With that much input delay, a 26 frame move becomes pretty fast. If that's around what we're expecting for input delay, let's say the PC version of the game has about two frames of input delay or one frame. Console versions have four or five or six frames, right? Then drive impact is a vastly more powerful move on console than it is on PC. Most people are like pretty good about lowering things now. Usually the PC versions of games have about one or two frames of input delay. Console versions have like two to four. It's not as drastic. The games are really different. I mean, like, you know, even playing the console versions of Strive, the stuff that's good is a little different and stuff that you might be able to handle really easily on like a PC setup is gonna change. And if the developers are making moves and designing around the speed of input delay maybe on console, then the PC version of the game is gonna feel feel a little weird. It's going to be pretty different. Some characters are so much easier to handle when the input delay is reduced by two, three frames. You're just faster about reacting and choosing what option you want to do to literally everything. If you have 26 frames to react with six frames of input delay, like that's a fifth of your time <laughs> versus it being, you know, one frame. It goes from being like it may be overbearing and like maybe too strong to like pretty easy for people to deal with. Generally running larger open bracket tournaments on PC is not as common. PC is doable. I think the thing about PC though is you need two things that a lot of events are probably not always going to have. You probably need a hardware sponsor to come in and like supply either PCs or laptops and you need to hire people who are dedicated to like troubleshoot. Unlike a console, you need someone who's a bit more familiar. When there are issues with the PC stuff at events, you need like people dedicated to running around and fixing them or you're gonna have a problem. And let's say that nothing breaks all weekend. Everybody plugs everything in, it works great, everything is good all weekend, that's awesome. But you still need to hire those people. Otherwise, you know, you're just fucked if you have one person running around trying to fix PCs across like an entire venue or something. It's why I think DTN was probably a good kind of event to do this at because the size of it is like, I think a little bit more feasible to do. DTN was, I would say like a medium sized event. It was run on PC this year. I think they had a hardware sponsor. I think it was MSI. It's quite a bit smaller than your like CB's Evos of the year, but it's a cool event. I've never been to DTN, but it's fun to watch. Everything always is scaling. So like if your event is twice as big, you need, twice as many setups almost, right? And you also need a bunch of people to go run around and watch everything. So a good example of size comparison, Frosty is the fourth largest event in the US. Frosty Faustings had 2,400 attendees last year. It'll be more this year. And DTN had 600. Not to say it's not doable, but this is an important example of scale. DTN is not a small tournament. It's a pretty large tournament. But it's hard to start with a tournament like this. A tournament around five to 600 people is a much more reasonable ask, I think. It's a pretty large tournament anyway. That's why we have to think about it for the future, no? Like competitively playing each one, I mean, you know, it's pretty obvious to me. I play only on PC, right? So when I go play on console, whether it's at like casuals or whether I'm playing at like a tournament or whatever, I immediately notice the difference. The difference in timing is dramatic. Like, first of all, your timing is off. But second of all, you might not be able to defend in the same way because input lag is just higher. So you might not be able to react to that overhead or that thing that you're trying to do. Fighting melee on PC, I'm like, all right, I'm chilling. No problem. I fight melee on a console. <laughs> 
it's like it's not that i get hit by the second air dash or something i get hit by like air dash regular air dash is hitting me and i'm like what is happening so i mean it is a big deal what whether they choose to use console or pc is an important question listen waka flocka or sonic you know unlike daigo i think sonic will just be like i'm gonna whoop your ass waka got this hashtag brick squad all right want to make a wager <laughs> want to do a friendly uh a friendly gamble i mean i think it's cool though that he randomly is like hey i love fighting games i'll beat your ass out of nowhere like i don't know if he thinks he's legit or if like he's just talking shit for fun sometimes it's fun to talk shit right i, I get it